I guess today for you a teardown of this uh, Soviet MIG uh, electronics box. It is a flight recorder interface box located just beside the flight recorder. This plugs go to the flight recorder itself. So model number is uh, it is written in Cyrillic tester U3 L block 5 IM. Serial number 140041. So it is just uh, a box with lots of screws to remove. The big screws here are for attaching to the box to the uh, airframe. Ground strap here. And uh, some seal here with probably a potentiometer be behind it. Something like this. So I will remove all the cover screws and we will have a look inside. Oh, after removing plenty of screws, I can show you the inside. So here, first cover. So obviously this is just a sealing screw for some reason. So here is what we have inside. You can see the very neat wiring with a ground point here. We have this PCB with uh, side moon transistors, this uh, weird thing, it, by the schematic it is uh, on the, yes, the writing, it is a capacitor, maybe with uh, some uh, shielding between the electrodes, because it is a free leg, or a dual capacitor maybe. Here we have 0.5% precision resistors, very nice ones. Another uh, wired uh, rapid ca capacitor here. Pass throughs here, capacities uh, pass through. Total um, uh, capacitors here, uh, very wired, these ones. Small transformer here. This side power transistor and here on this PCB a very special uh, package diode with uh, its sync. As you can see it is a flat package QD213B date code of 1984. There on the top here you can see there are uh, plug-in plug cards. One more uh, TO3 package transistor here with a small heat sink and on this side we have plug-in PCBs there are four of them so you will notice here there is some writing on the connector and by the way look at this very very nice work on the wire room very nice so if I buy it open here first PCB they are all almost the same with a small surface mount uh, gold ceramic chips here EVA conformal coating as always As you can see, quite nice. It is quite interesting. The pin pattern here in the round ices here with lots of pins. Second PCB is quite similar, same kind of parts. Look how they did uh, glue the capacitors here, the, uh, excuse me, the small uh, the transistors, the small transistors are glued sideways with small uh, support pieces be below them and uh, hard uh, glue, epoxy glue probably. So if you can see, we have uh, factory logos everywhere, and here we have 
the shielding plate on the back side. This one, but it will allow to see the bottom one if I remove this one. So just uh, resistors, very very neatly organized resistors. Oh, the small ICs. I may, maybe I will take photos of this. Uh, I do not remember if I did take photos of them for my Flickr. And the last one here. Two uh, so capacitors on again the same stuff. You can see the detail on the connectors here. Very. It looks like we have silver coated contacts. Yes. And maybe you can see at the bottom here the wiring between the connectors. And so this small uh, transformer here is in a shielding box, quite interesting. You can see brass inserts on the... So I do not know if it is a servo control for the black box, for the flight recorder, or if it is a signal uh, processing uh, box before uh, the information gets recorded on the, in the flight recorder. Anyway, I believe it is uh, recorded. Uh, it is analog recording on this generation of recorders. Okay, now I will need to put this all back together. You can see here more of the wiring with this very typical uh, pink Teflon coated uh, wiring. Wires. It is pink because the insulator is white, so kind of translucent, and uh, under you have a copper wire, and it makes uh, something pink, very very cute, okay, so thanks for watching, bye bye.